Okay, if you are looking for summer beach read recommendations, you're in luck. We know just who to ask, two best-selling authors, Emma Straub and Jasmine Glory. Emma <laughs> is the author of This Time Tomorrow, which is out in paperback yes, right now. Jasmine's book is called Drunk on Love, and they're going to give us a few of their favorite reads. First of all, your reads. Yes. I mean, Can we kind of dig your, your reads. Read? This Time Tomorrow, for anybody that loves mm -hmm. father-daughter love stories, the 90s, and it, we're New York City, mm -hmm. which is a great combination. Remind us what it's about, even though I just mm -hmm. did. Yeah. <laughs> well, so it's it's a time travel book, um, but it's it's really about a girl and her father. And so for anyone who's lost a parent, I mm -hmm. think it'll be a, a beautiful Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. And for your book, Jasmine, I mean, this is a beach read, if there ever was one, right? It is a, you know, it's set in Napa Valley. Yeah. It's a love story. It's all about summertime and drinking wine and falling in love. Come on. <laughs> we want right. to do all of those things. Let's Let's get to our picks. Let's start with you, Emma. Your first book, I w we want to be treed. What you got? Kiss Me in the Coral Lounge. Oh, I already like it. By Helen Ellis. So Helen, Helen is hilarious. These are essays. She's written in the past about family and friendship, but this is this one is all about love and marriage. So if you are, <laughs> let's say, a middle-aged person yes. who's in a long-term relationship, yes. you should definitely read this definitely. book. Definitely. Okay, great. Check, Thank check, and you. check. Jasmine, what do you have for us? Um, Mrs. Nash's Ashes. <laughs> it is a... Such a charming love story. I, this is a book that, like, when I finished it, I just wanted to hug it to my chest. Oh. It is about two near strangers who go on a road trip together to deliver ashes to someone's long-lost love. Oh. And then, in the process, of course, they fall in love. Of course they do. Oh, just oh, I love that. Delightful, adorable, so much fun. Mm -hmm. All right, Emma, back to you. What's yes. your next pick? Quietly Hostile by okay. Samantha <laughs> Irby. <laughs> Samantha Irby is... Absolutely hilarious. She's one of those people where, like, these are, it's a it's another essay collection, and this is one where if you are feeling down or you feel like you haven't read anything you've loved in a long time, all you need is Samantha <gasps> Irby because she will I make you laugh. <laughs> she will make you laugh on every page. Yes, Ooh. I love essays too, bite sized. Yeah, because you yeah. can read one a night, mm -hmm. but also <laughs> comedy is not always that easy. Yeah. So yes. thank you for okay. that. That's so funny, um, Jasmine. Okay, we hear your next pick is sort of a rom com. It is. It's it's called For Her Consideration. It's by Amy Spaulding. It is just a fun romantic comedy set in L.A. about someone falling in love with a movie star. I just love it. Oh, yeah. By the way, you're the queen of romance and <laughs> rom-coms. You pass that so one over here, too. <laughs> we need some beach reads. These are good. Um, okay, Emma, your last book is a cookbook? Yes. Wait, what? Okay, so maybe you're, not, you bringing a <laughs> maybe you're not bringing it to the beach because it's a little heavy. But you need it anyway. So Tender Heart by Hedy Lou McKinnon. So she... She is, she is one of my favorite, she's one of my go-to people where I'm like, I don't know what to make for dinner. I can always cook something of Hetty's. I am not an accomplished <laughs> chef, okay? I want to set the expectations. Yes. You can do this. If I what can, kind of food is it? All kinds? Well, she's Chinese, but she's she grew up in Australia, mm -hmm. so it's it's sort of from all over the place. Oh. But it's it's she's also a beautiful writer. Yeah, so it oh. has also stories about her yes. family in it. Yes, yes. So oh. you, you'll read it. You come for the recipes, stay for the stories. Mm. Um, Delicious. Oh, delicious I love things. that. That's like Beautiful. the best kind of book. <laughs> it. It's oh, very heavy. I know we're carrying a lot of things. All right, okay. what we got? Oh, I love this one. Um, a Living Remedy by Nicole Chung. This this one will make you cry, oh. but it is a really beautiful book about um, the, her loss of both of her parents within a few years. Mm. Um, and she sort of talks about how to how to live after that um everything that she went through and that her parents went through growing up with them i think it is you know her mother died during the pandemic and so mm -hmm. i think a lot of us will so many of us yeah. lost people during that time and couldn't share that loss share that grief with anyone and i think this book will really it, will really help anyone who experienced that, and it's like you're sharing that grief with all of us. Oh, oh I love it. You know, I these know that's are such a good one. <laughs> Yo, and you guys get their books, too. Yes. Please. Yeah, of course. To check out any of these summer reads, and including, of course, their books. Go to today.com slash books. We'll be back right after this.